get off process and guests. And those person people shall be the subject of the accounts for this meeting today, meeting number 154. The mission of those process club is to provide a summary and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop the communication plan and leadership skills, resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth. As a protocol of those process international, you are requested to keep away from three types of topics that is, sex, religion, and politics during the meeting. Further, I request every one of you to switch off your mobile phones. I have all to put them into silent mode to avoid distraction. Also, you are requested to be seated comfortably until you are called. With this note, now I call upon our present host master to direct to offer that opportunity. I still remember 
what we're telling and they still have the balance sheet, they have forward it. So we have a very strong office bearers with past experience in the executive committee to take the club to new heights. I welcome all of them and wish good luck for the upcoming club. As you all know, we do have a gambling club as well, which is for the uh, thing, smart things. The club contest is completed. Now we have entered to inter gambling club level for contest. So we need a volunteer to come as judge. The contest is on next Saturday on 27th in Footlands Hotel Amitabh. Senior Toastmasters are requested to volunteer, participate. This timing is between 9 to 5. So if you want to confirm so that you can be able to Toastmaster. Can we do it from there? You can check that if you can confirm the Toastmaster. DTAC has just got completed where one level before that division level we had participation in all the four categories. UAE has won the best uh, English speaker competition from the Dubai area. Uh, I had the uh, evaluation here. Yeah, Toastmaster yeah. leader yeah. from our area has won the second position, I believe. Second or third, I'm not sure. My evaluation, second position. That is the update on the uh, proceedings happened in the Toastmaster Intelligence over the last four times. Today's Toastmaster of the evening, the tech side, working for Euro Veritas from oil and gas. And he has chosen the team appropriately. Van Pry. Some of them had heard about it recently, which has made news, which resembles to the word of the day afterwards. So to take more onto the ransom paid Van Pry, I welcome Toastmaster Deepak Joseph.
came to know about this, this club when I was doing a professional development course, uh, online course. I came to know about such a organization and hopefully you will have a good time. Uh, 
uh, as a world master from primary, basically I have two uh, rules. I will introduce a new word, and today's word is havoc. Uh, meaning is widespread destruction. Synonyms are disaster, devastation. Synonyms are peace, tranquility, tranquility. If I have to use it in a sentence, I would say that Monaco is the most recent ransomware which has created havoc globally. So I encourage you to use appropriately this word in today's meeting. And as a grammarian, I would just listen carefully to the use of English language and report uh, if any incorrect usage at the uh, or provide my comments at the end of the meeting.
who are not familiar with the word ransomware. It's a malicious software which blocks access to all your computer files and it does not allow you to operate in your normal work session or the computer. So what happened is last two weeks before, few of the hackers developed this ransomware, this is software basically, and it spread widely worldwide. In a factor of two hours, it affected almost one fifty countries. It was that uh, the situation was that uh, serious, and it created a havoc. What happened is when anyone opened a mail, anyone opened a link, this affected your computer, and all your files were encrypted. Encrypted means it was locked. It was changed to a different file, which it did not work afterwards. So because of that, on May 12, 2017, it was the largest cyber attack which happened worldwide. And more than 2 lakh organizations in 150 countries were affected due to this answer. That was the statistics which was uh, available 3 4 days ago. It is still available. Because the solution has not been provided yet. How do one of works? One of is it uses a for you know, Microsoft Office, my Microsoft uh, Windows OS, and it encrypts all your files and systems. That one is people who are using MacBook, people who are using uh, any other Linux and other uh, open source, they were not affected. Only people who are using Windows OS. And the funniest thing is this uh, issue with the flaw that the Microsoft was identified by the NASA. NASA is the government security agency of the USA. And hackers use that intelligence to create it. So it was the government which indirectly helped the hackers to develop it. Um, so when the software is open, it tells the users that all your files will be blocked. And it asks them to pay a certain amount of money to them. Then they will be releasing those files so that your system will be normal. And they used a new technology, new mode of currency called Bitcoin. It's something like, uh, you can consider it as a different a digital currency instead of rupees or dollars or something else. The advantage of it is it is decentralized. There is no government which regulates it. It's an online So it cannot be hacked. They were using that. When we are Bitcoin, how does it affect Bitcoin? Bitcoin is something, uh, as per my understanding, something similar to a stock. You can consider it as a stock. Yeah, it's like, when, let's just imagine it's a concept of the stock. stock. It's like, if I have a stock, you can sell it to someone else and cash it, right? So similar to that, Bitcoin is a, you know, like a currency kind of thing. Which is current value is approximately one thousand and fifty dollars or something like that for one bitcoin, and that's what they demand. In depth, I'm not sure about bitcoins, which they say that's a great topic. Uh, <coughs> yes, Do they give back the files after paying the money? No, well, that's a, that, that is the uh, hard part. There is no guarantee. 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 There is no Does it affect mobiles? <laughs> no. Not at all. Yeah, like speed might affect your... If it affects mobile, who will be happy about it? Yeah. That is not what you do. I'm just showing the image. How will be happy about it? How will be happy about it? At least it's... Uh, it, affect, it could affect the industry as well. Is something which is very important? Uh, screen. Yes, yes. I think it's really important.
example. So this is how once you are affected with the ransom, ransomware, this is how it appears on the screen. So it asks for you to make a payment to a particular address which is given over here. This is an online address. Now once you make the payment, they claim that they will be restoring it. But there is, there is no guarantee that they will restore the files back, so the payment might vanish. So this is the reason why majority of the majority of the companies worldwide were having a big issue with this one account. Now, before uh, giving the solutions to how to rectify it, how to prevent us, our systems from uh, getting affected with one right? we will uh, proceed with our later prepared features. Uh, today, we only have one prepared feature that is icebreaker by Postmaster Sunil. Before the before Postmaster Sunil, I would request the time timer timekeeper Postmaster Sunil to help the timing rules for the icebreaker speech. Good evening once again. Good evening. The timer for the for the speech number one icebreaker is four to six minutes. For the grace period of thirty seconds. The grace period will be on at four minutes. And number will be on at four minutes, uh, five minutes, and the relay will be on at six minutes. And remains so on till the speaker finishes his speech. Wish you all the best. Professor Sanal, I request you to do the next. Professor Sanal is invited by Professor. So, Rasmasa uh, Dinesh will take care of uh, his evaluation. Rasmasa Dinesh, come on. Uh, no, that's it. Can I tell you the objective of the language? Rasmasa Arun. Rasmasa Sanal. Sius Rasmasa and VFS. Toastmaster Sanal is going to give his first speech, that is icebreaker. The objective of the speech is to begin with speaking, to begin speaking before an audience, and to discover speaking skills you already have and skills that need some attention. The time is four to six minutes. All the best.
it's like um, our classmates were so close, so even we don't have a virtual classroom chat even today. So I feel the old feelings really comes up when you chat with my old classmates. I did my uh, pre degree in the year, I completed my pre degree in the year 1919. My favorite subject was mathematics. So I took the stream of PCM for my pursuing my higher education career. After completing my higher secondary school, I did my bachelor's degree program in the field of uh, electronics and communications. I passed out in 1994 from Andrews University. That was my uh, about my bachelor's degree program. After completing my higher second, uh, after completing my bachelor's program, I did my I start first job in Bombay. That was one of my favorite city also. I started working with a company called Andreto as a as an apprentice. For a one year term, I did the work as a maintenance engineer there. During my if that was a company, you can say like mainly uh, manufacturing the precision fastness products. After completing with Andreto, I joined with another company called the Tata Group again in Bombay, worked as an engineer there. And that was my entry into the field of uh, telecommunication. You can say, follow to that, you can say in, in, uh, uh, in mid 90s, there was a telecom boom happening, and the network, mobile network was also on a very booming level. So, I, so, I mean, I got an opportunity to work with BK Telecom as a senior engineer officer. And during my service, even I had an extensive travel in uh, Bombay, so I was able to explore the complete Bombay as well as uh, New Bombay side. That was one of my great feelings, and I love the city very much. During that, uh, after completing my, I mean, job in this way, my sister was here in uh, UAE. So I got an opportunity to come out here, and I got an offer from Etisala to work with the Etisala uh, Academy branch in Dubai. So I took that offer and joined with my, in 1997 with Etisala. And I left around, I worked there for four years, I left Etisala in the year 2001 and joined with Dai City. Slowly I started getting settled. So even the finance side also slowly getting settled. So I decided to get married. In 2003, I got married. My wife's name is Dhaka. She works in Mayu Private School of Dhabi. And we are blessed with two kids. Uh, their name is Akshay and Akshay. Both are working in private school of Dhabi. Again, now you can say like now almost 15 years I'm working with Dhabi University, working as a network specialist in the information technology department. Recently, last week, I would like to share with you, last week, we had a recognition event and I was uh, honored by the senior management uh, for my service to the organization. <laughs> let, me, let me give us, I mean, my interest, let me give share, I would like to share one of my interests actually. My main interest to share, I mean, to help others who are in need. So, my day always starts with a small contribution of money to a cash collection box. That money normally, I will distribute to the people who are in need in my village to my friends, to my uh, my father actually. So we make sure like every month, the first week, the money will be distributed to the people who are in need actually. And I have a favorite, uh, I mean my hobby is like playing the tennis. So I do a lawn, lawn tennis. So we have a very good uh, team put up in my residence complex. So every weekend we do make sure a game is happening in the holiday weekend. So that gives me a lot of happiness as well as it gives me an energy to take it to the uh, next week actually. My ambition is to become one of the entrepreneurs and settle back in India with my family. Fellow responses. All the every teacher once was a student, every winner once was a loser, every expert was a beginner. But all of them have crossed the bridge called learning. A bridge to achieve our ambition by helping each other is a Toastmasters Club. All of you are Toastmasters Club.
then the most in, most common ways of getting a ransomware attack or any you know, kind of virus is through websites or through compromised emails we get in from undisclosed sources or unknown email addresses which are which are not available. So be very careful when opening such mail addresses. It is having some download links or some attachments, especially attachments which are the format of zip files. Zip files are something which you know uh, we think that it is a document and we just have to look it and it immediately opens the file and it runs the file. So it is very much vulnerable for uh, getting a trigger. So when you are in a corporate uh, work session, when you're using a computer in your company, make sure that if you get such mails or such attachments, first refer with your ID admin and make sure that it is not a dangerous file which is having an affected file so that you can you know, make sure that it is not affecting your work on the daily basis. Then, as I told you, never open mails which are sent to undisclosed. So many of the files if you see like annotations which you receive or any uh, you know, email newsletters you receive, you can see that it is sent to undisclosed recipients. So always be cautious when receiving such emails because that is one of the uh, methods through which it is like publicly sent to mail. The so downloading a bad program or software and receiving a website that is Displaying malicious adverts, that means uh, harmful advertisements, is another way of getting infected. Now, what to do if we are a victim of the one attack? That's okay. Is that interesting? As I told you, basically, if you are affected, you cannot do anything. Uh, since all your files are encrypted, all your files, all, all your computer cannot access them. So the first thing, we give our advice never to make a payment to the ransomware. <coughs> because we don't know whether they will keep the word saying that they will keep it back. Once the cash is gone, made the transaction, that's it. It is can't be traced back. Their money is gone. So never make a payment for any of the ransomware attacks or any of the ransom, even other ransom which will come in close to life. Then in fact the best thing to do is reserve all the files from the backup. That's, this is the reason why I don't maintain a backup regularly, uh, weekly or fortnightly basis of all your other files. And now, luckily, the recent update is three days before, not three days, almost three to four days before, one of the research, uh, software developers has developed a software for uh, decrypting this file. But it is still in the first phase. So, as in Unit. He is the one who released a new software which is called Wannaki. It is still in the test phase. So, this is a sign of relief these days for the Wannaki. It helps you to recover your files. But the disadvantage is if you shut down the system once after getting it, getting your system affected, nothing can be done. So, be careful and be very cautious when you are using your uh, computer online because. It is still not contained. This malicious where product is still not contained. So you have to be extra vigilant. And today morning, I came across another news saying that there's a new malicious web coming up, which is ten times faster than the one I It is called Hacker Robots. <coughs> this uses the same methodology of one product, but it also uses other six more of the programs which NASA has developed and they implement everything together. So this is much more dangerous and it spreads much faster. So the only advice I can give you everyone who is working in a corporate and everyone who is working in a company or a workstation or be extra vigilant while you are using your computer and opening mails with attachments and other Now that's all. Uh, now we will proceed to our most anticipated program. It looks like they are not targeting individuals, right? They are targeting individuals, yeah. But the problem is when the individuals 
access it from the computer or from the computer. That's it. The whole thing. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Basically, that's how it is. So, um, and uh, you have to show the image or? Randomly came through the email already. Primary source, not not e the attached one which comes along with the email from the primary source. So then yes, now since we all are working with the computer, we know that we are missing mails from maybe from the client saying that the tender file is big, so we will be sending you my Dropbox for we transfer. And that would be from the next. It might be someone else who is acting as uh, from the class or someone else. And if you look at it, it might be a but are they hacking servers? Or? No, basically, uh, it, it's I think it, it could affect it. In it. This yeah. one other could affect it. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even server, so, it gets encrypted. So, banking system also then Yes. Yeah. 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 They have solid security measures in place. So, you don't think your money will no, files, 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 services, not not the applications. Will it traffic? Yes, sir. Hmm? Credit card accounts? No, in corporate, they have files, they have files. Yeah, multiple layers. Yeah, it has. The thing is, it affects all the the most vulnerable systems are the Windows operating systems. This affects the Windows operating system basically. The computers and servers which works on our source that is Linux or Mac OS is not affected. Much. There is a small correction because it affected this particular thing affected the very old version of Windows. Yes, very old. Windows XP is 15 years old. Which is a discontinued one. It is a discontinued one. Microsoft has stopped releasing updates and patches. So the first target was that. So if your machine is updated with Microsoft updates, you are protected. Originals. Hmm? Original. Original. Microsoft release. Updates every month. Uh -huh. Every uh -huh. second you stay. Uh -huh. no, okay. Still security updates are available for the pirate network, right? No, I mean that I'm getting it. So you know that? I'm not that okay. It's recorded, right? Well, it's right, anyway. Now back to the table topics. Uh, so I invite our sponsor Abilash. So, uh, first question, Adi Devsi, I will just tell the timing for the general topic. Good evening once again. Good evening. The time allowed for the general topic speech is 1 to 2 minutes. The grace period of 15 seconds. The green light will be on at 1 minute. And the armor light will be on at 1 minute 30 seconds. And the red, red light will be on at 2 minutes and remains on in the speaker. Speech. Table of speeches as speakers, those who maintain the duration between 1 minute and 2 minutes 15 seconds will be qualified for the speech. Okay. Sure. 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 Come here, or the table, or the, uh, the Toastmaster who comes over here, 
he will be speaking one to two minutes basically about the subject and he can uh, basically speak on the subject he can think and react within a particular period of time so let us begin 30 seconds for yeah additional time it's already been uh, for preparation for preparation 30 seconds you can uh, just think about it after coming here after standing you have an i give us a tip you can just think 30 seconds or the time is not specified you can use it then you can react and within 2 uh, minutes you are complete so that is the basic idea for the benefit of you joining uh, i i think i already explained uh, it so shall we start yes okay and there is a small disclaimer i don't take personally all the subjects <laughs> which may be Like little bit, you may feel oh, this, this person has given me such a subject. No, it's not like like that. I'm, I'm uh, sure it's for any time. Of course, it's it's not <laughs> English, <laughs> especially our person. So this is your purpose. No, no, no. no. no, no, no. no. Uh, I will give you few subjects based on uh, the person who is giving you the subject. So I'm sorry. So any volunteers? Okay. Because I am a 